Hi everybody, this is Dario. Welcome back to my channel, Motley Reads. Uh, today it's a time for an um, uh, end of the year book tag uh, that was originally created by Ariel Bissell. And it's a, it's a short uh, book tag uh, that is uh, uh, aiming to, to present, uh, you know, end of the year reading goals, uh, really. So it's just uh, uh, six prompts. Uh, so um, let's get to it. First prompt, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? So, yes, uh, there are. Uh, there have been, a, you know, a couple of uh, books, uh you know that I decided to DNF, but so, so I'm not. I, I don't need to finish them. Uh, the ones that are not that are in, in process of reading right now, there are two books that I that I need to finish or that I want to finish. The first one is that I uh, talked about in my previous video book or video, uh, Barchester Towers by by Anthony Trollope uh, that I'm reading and and uh, and hopefully uh, will be done with during the during the coming uh, week or so uh, i haven't been reading uh last week uh we've been we've been away with work with the full full days and evenings with activities so i haven't been reading this but hopefully this coming week now uh i will be at home so so i'll be able able to read them read it so that's uh, that's the first one and the second one is um, this book uh, slow burn city by rowan moore uh, which is a book about um, about London uh, and uh, about London in 21st century uh, and it is uh, written very much uh, from the uh, kind of you know urban urban uh, history of urban planning of of, uh, of uh, London um, and uh, I come, you know, roughly half uh, of this book. Uh, I started reading it uh, beginning of September, and then I put it put it down uh, for a number of weeks. Or so I need to. I want to uh, return uh, back to it. It is it is written uh, very well. It it is very uh, interesting uh, uh, book uh, about the some would argue capital of the world uh, how it how it uh, came about uh, being what is it today uh, during the during the last yeah 100 100 years uh, approximately so slow burn city so this is what i need to finalize uh, what i want to finalize uh, uh, you know before the end of the year second problem do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year uh, I do not have an uh, autumnal book to transition to the end of the year. Uh, I've been participating in Victoba and I read the uh, Woodring Heights and, and the Warden and, and you know, the, uh, you could argue also, you know, Barchester Towers being, you know, being a Victorian book in itself. It is a, a kind of a kind of an autumnal read uh, just by the uh, by the virtue of, of, of time period. Uh, but, but nothing special. No, you know, vampires or or you know, uh, the, the graveyards. <laughs> nothing like that. Um, prompt number three: Is there a new release you are still waiting for? Now there has been uh, a release that I've been waiting for for a long, long time. I have a. It is a series of books. Uh, it is actually the the series uh, about the. Um, in Search of the of Lost Time by Marcel Proust. Um, I never uh, read the series, uh, and uh, neither, neither had uh, Mia. And, and you know, we've been for years saying that okay, we, we really need to need to read that. So, um, however, in Sweden, it was impossible to find it uh, in Swedish. Uh, it it was sold out. It wasn't uh, printed for many many years. You you cannot find them in. Uh, in used bookstores neither uh, sometimes you find them all eight but then it's kind of you know it's like eight paperbacks from 1970s you know priced like five like 500 euros uh, because of the scarcity so 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 we never came around to to uh, to that and um, uh, a couple of years ago we said okay let's let's read them in english so we bought the first one in this uh, in this edition and then uh, start reading it. It's very well written. Uh, however, you know the books that are written in in some other language than English, I prefer reading them in Swedish. Uh, and and uh, so we said, no, I, I really, really want to wait for uh, 
a new uh, Swedish uh, version uh, to come out. And now finally it has come out, actually, uh, last week uh, it came out. Uh, so I have ordered uh, all eight books that will be coming next week. So, so uh, yeah, so, so we are not... Yeah, it's a new release that I'm still waiting for to arrive into my uh, into my mail, uh, but it has arrived from the publisher uh, just recently. So in search of lost time, really looking forward to it very very much. Good. So uh, number four, what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? The three books that I have uh, on my TBR, which I'm which I'm uh, very excited about about uh, diving into, uh, is uh, it's another Victorian classic, the Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. Uh, it it is uh, yeah, uh, some some would say the first the first uh, mystery book or detective novel ever. I'm not. I'm not at all uh, big on on crime. I really don't like crime books, but I like Victorian literature. Uh, and, and I, you know, just by reading the first couple of pages, I got completely hooked into this. So, so, so I really want to read this. And I love the the whole, you know, um, the, the colonial thing from Victorian era and so on and so forth. And it seems to be uh, quite a bit of that here. And you could also argue it's a kind of autumnal book as well. You know, who knows? So, so, so this is one. Um, book number two that I would like to uh, that I'm planning to read by uh, until the end of the year is a book that I that I show, showed uh, on my TBR uh, or, or my sorry on my book haul last week is this one uh, at the pond uh, swimming at the Hampstead Ladies uh, Pond uh, and and this is uh, uh, a number of uh, essays uh, written by by uh, contemporary female authors about the experience of. Uh, Hampstead Ladies Pond, uh, Hampstead uh, area in the, in the in north north central London. With, with it's a huge park with a with a, a couple of ponds there. In one of them is is this Hampstead Ladies Pond. Uh, so so uh, and it seems to be a, a very you know uh, yeah it, it it seems to be a lots of you know loving. Um, uh, perspectives on on uh, on uh, on the Hampstead Lady Ponzi in 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 uh, in, uh, in particular in Hampstead in general and you know th this is the area of London or London that, that I love the most so I'm looking very much forward to to read this one so that's number two and then number three um, is uh, Mary Christianity by C S Lewis um, uh, I the ones that are that are subscribed to my channel watching my videos uh, I know that I'm uh, very excited about you know maybe midrash uh, event on on, on a booktube uh, historically I never been very much into spirit spirituality I didn't read very much about the spiritual literature uh, and especially not not Christian literature and I started reading you know uh, last year and this year uh, got very involved in this I really I like it very much and I heard from some of the of the uh, of the YouTube friends uh, among the other Christy Lewis of the Dostoevsky space, of, for instance, uh, uh, who, who loves uh, this book, and uh, yeah, so so I, I bought it. I'm really looking forward to read it, and I and, and I think you know it fits very well with the with the with the whole um, Christmas uh, uh, setting, you know, being uh, being a Christian holiday, uh, obviously. So Merry Christianity by C.S. Lewis, and this is uh, fr from what I understand, it's a, it's a series of lecture that was given by C.S. Lewis. A BBC during the Second World War, um, that, that that is you know uh, very well known and, and, and reprinted time after time. So so these are the three books uh, for uh, that I will read until the end of the year. Uh, number five, is there a book you think you could still uh, could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Well, you know, it could. You never know before you before you uh, read it. Um, however, I really, really see see it as very unlikely that any book that I have on my TPR could could be even close to 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 persuasion by Jane Austen that I read during Jane Austen July, uh, a book that completely blew me away in so many different ways. So 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 I seriously doubt that. However, I, I would really uh, like it. That, that would really mean that some of these books is, is just, you know, uh, 
so extraordinary that, that you know, that, yeah. I, I, let's see, let's see. Um, and finally, prompt number six, have you already started making reading plans for, for uh, 2022? And yes, of, of course I have, and uh, you know, be, I'm always making reading plans and, and, uh, and uh, as to materialization of these plans, you know, I had a reading plan for 2020 and then, you know, some of it did materialize, some of it didn't materialize, materialize certainly stuff that I don't even know about back in December 2020, uh, you know, th that I read uh, this year. So, so, so just the, you know, the, the uh, planning is, is, uh, is just a number, number of possibilities really. And I do have a, a pipeline of, of, uh, of books on, on my TBR, uh, on my book cart uh, that, that, that I'm planning to, to, uh, to put into, into my plan for 2021. And if, will it, um, uh, will it be realized? Let's see. I know I can say tell you one of the books, "Mirror and the Light" uh, by Hilary Mantel, the third book in Wolf of Trilogy. That that's something that I, that I really uh, would like to get to next year because I love the first two books. So, so in the third book, it is intimidating size. I think it's like close to a thousand pages, uh, but I really, really, uh, I'm, I'm 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 interested and wanna wanna get into it. So yeah, so this is uh, this is uh, my the end of the uh, year book tag. I will not tag anybody because you know. I, I think that I'm the last booktuber on the on, on booktube who is who is doing it now. So everybody has done it already. So you know, I, I hope that still somebody is interested uh, to watch it. So yeah, that's it. Until next time, take care. Bye.